Hi boys and girls, welcome to our very special Bible lesson today. My name is teacher Susan from St. Barnabas of Kiende. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas day yesterday. And today our Bible story is all about Christmas, the Christmas story, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. First, let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful day and thank you for the wonderful Christmas day that we celebrated yesterday. Help us, Lord, to allow our Savior Jesus Christ to be born in our hearts and to be king of our lives. Help us to understand all that we are learning this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we are going to worship God in singing joy to the world. Let's go. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Thank you boys and girls. Our Bible story today is a Christmas story. We are reading from the book of Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1 up to 15 and Luke chapter 2 from verse 1 up to verse 20. So the emperor of that time said and he commanded everyone to go and be registered. In other words, it was census time, the first census ever in Israel. Everyone had to be registered. And so Joseph had to travel with Mary back to his hometown, which was called Bethlehem, to be registered there. Joseph was a descendant of King David. And so he went all the way with Mary to Bethlehem from Nazareth where they lived at that time and Mary was tired because Mary was expecting a baby and she was just about due so they they reached Bethlehem and there were so many people in Bethlehem who had come to to be registered there was no place to stay all the hotels the inns of that time were filled and packed to the brim. There was no place to stay. So Mary and Joseph, when Mary was about to have her baby, they were told the only place they can get room is where the animals were kept. And that is where they went because they had no choice. And so Mary had her baby in the in the place where animals are kept. And when she had her baby, she wrapped him in strips of cloth and put him in a manger. And as the baby was born, the angel came announcing the birth of Jesus. Guess to who? To the shepherds. There were shepherds who were taking care of their animals in the fields at night. And the angel came and he told them that the, a baby had been born. The Savior had been born. And he told them where the Savior was born in Bethlehem. And he told them, you will know when you see a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and, and laid in a manger. And as the angel was telling them that, a whole group of angels, many, many angels like that, 
appeared in the sky and they started worshiping God, singing joyful songs to God and praising him. The shepherds were so excited and they left. They decided, they said, let's go and see this thing that the angel has told us has happened. And they went, to, they hurried to Bethlehem and they found a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and laid in a manger and they worshipped baby Jesus. They worshipped him. They bowed down and worshipped the baby and then they left and they went and they told everybody the good news that the Savior had been born. The shepherds went telling everybody that the Savior was born. And that is how God wants us to be, to tell everybody that Jesus is our Savior, to tell everybody that Jesus is the Son of God. And so in, now the, the, there were other wise men now. Them, they saw a star in the east and they decided to follow that star because they knew that star belonged to a king. So they went and followed the star and the star led them all the way to Jerusalem. And when they reached in Jerusalem and they started asking, where is the king who has been born? We want to worship him. And word reached to King Herod and Herod was not amused. He was angry and he called the, 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 the people of the, 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 the religious people and asked them, where is this king and where was he to be born? And the, the, the religious people told him he's, he's to be born in Bethlehem. And so um, the king called the, the, the wise men back. They are also called Magi. He called them back and he told them, now you go and find that baby. And when you find him, come and tell me so that I can also go and worship him. The king was lying. He did not want to worship the king, the newborn king. He wanted to kill him. So the, 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 the wise men went to Bethlehem and the star appeared again and it led them straight to where the, the, the baby had been born. And the wise men went into the house and they found the baby, the king who had been born. And they bowed before him and they worshipped him. And then they gave him very special gifts. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Special, three special gifts three, to be given to a king. Remember, this was a baby. But Jesus was not an ordinary baby. Jesus was the son of God. And he was born in the world. He grew up just like you and me, but when he was all grown, he died on the cross to save you and me from our sins. Jesus is our savior and Jesus is our king. Jesus is the son of God, the one and only that God promised to send in the world to save us from our sins. And like the Magi, the three, the wise men, we are to worship God and to give him our gifts. What gift do you have to give Jesus? Do you love singing? Do you love acting? Any gift that you have, you can use it to serve Jesus. You can use it to worship Jesus. And we can only also praise him in just singing when we come to church, sing joyfully to Jesus and praise him. And you can also love him. You can love him with all your heart and you can serve him as I have said, okay? So Jesus is our king. We need to allow him, boys and girls, we need to allow Jesus to be born in our hearts. And we need to let him reign in our hearts and in our lives. Allow him to guide us in everything that we do. So as he is born, as he was born yesterday, as we celebrated the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, let's also allow him to be born in our hearts. Let us allow him to be king of our hearts and king of our lives. 
our memory verse today is Luke, uh, Luke chapter 2 verse 11. Luke chapter 2 verse 11. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. Christ is our Lord. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Okay, boys and girls, thank you so much. Um, it was beautiful just uh, learning the Bible story, the Christmas Bible story together with you. We really, really thank God for sending his one and only son, his begotten son, to come and be born here on earth, to be born by Mary and, 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 and Joseph who took care of him and to die on the cross for our sins. We thank God for the beautiful gift of his son, Jesus Christ. And we love him, don't we? We love God and we love Jesus, our Savior. And we love the Holy Spirit too. They are three in one. Three in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And they work together. And we thank God for loving us so much and sending us his son to die on the cross for us. And he did not remain dead. He rose again on the third day and he lives in heaven today, seated at the right hand of God. One day he will come back on earth. And I want when he comes back to find each and every one of you, including me, ready for him because we have allowed him to be born in our hearts and we have allowed him to be king of our hearts and our lives all right boys and girls thank you so much um that's the end of our bible lesson today i want to wish you a happy new year because i know you had a wonderful day yesterday celebrating christmas now we are going to be celebrating uh, the new year very very soon the first day of 2022 and we thank god because he has taken care of us throughout 2021 and we know that he is also just going to enable us to reach 2022 and to have a wonderful beautiful safe and 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 great 2022 so thank you so much let us pray dear god thank you so much for sending jesus christ to be born on earth to be our savior we thank you that he was born of the virgin mary and and he grew up as a child and 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 he was holy he was perfect but he died on the cross for our sins he died so that he can save us from our sins so we thank you for sending us a savior we thank you lord for sending us a king, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Take care. We will see you in our next lesson. Bye.